King Leonidas was in fact a real historical figure. He was a Spartan king who ruled around 490-480 BC. He famously led the defense of the Pass of Thermopylae against the invading Persian army in 480 BC, as depicted in the movie 300 and in historical accounts. His leadership and the bravery of the Spartan warriors became legendary, symbolizing the defiance of overwhelming odds in the face of tyranny. 300 offers a stylized and dramatic portrayal of Sparta, but there are several aspects of Spartan society and history that weren't included or were simplified in the film. Sparta was governed by a unique system that combined elements of monarchy, oligarchy, and democracy. While the film focuses primarily on the role of the Spartan king Leonidas, there were also other political institutions such as the Council of Elders and Executive Magistrates that played significant roles in governance and leadership. The film primarily focuses on the lives of Spartan citizens, but Spartan society also included a class of free non-citizen residents known as perioikoi. These individuals lived in the surrounding regions of Sparta and played important roles in its economy and military. Spartan society also relied heavily on a slave class known as helots, who were subjected to harsh treatment and served as agricultural laborers. The helots outnumbered the Spartan citizens by a significant margin and were kept in check through strict control. As depicted in the movie, Spartan boys underwent rigorous military training from a young age. However, Spartan education also included elements of literature, music, albeit with a primary focus on producing skilled warriors. Spartans were a complex and multifaceted society, and their way of life was shaped by a variety of social, political and cultural factors.